Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I have a bunch of things to talk about. So, uh, first, this is a pretty good game of Domination. It won't be the best you've ever seen, but uh, whatever. I'm ranking up the LMG here, because I watched this Team Art video that said it was awesome, and uh, I have a pretty good game. Although, I have to tell you, in my hands, it's not awesome every time, and Rapid Fire is freaking terrible on this thing. Not that anyone said Rapid Fire was good, but when I rank up weapons, I like to use all the different attachments, because... I learned the weapon better. Like a lot of you guys saw some of these uh, shotgun videos I had with the holographic sight on it. And I'm getting this, you know, oh my God, Woody, why are you using the holographic sight? You're so terrible. You're so stupid. You're so dumb. You're so ugly. You're so fat. You're so old or whatever it is that the holographic sight makes you. And, um, and I'm like, you know, hey, you know, I, I, I use the holographic sight to get the challenge out of it because I saw that the challenge points help you rank up the weapon faster. Also, because I use the different things, I get to figure out what's good and what's bad and give better advice to you guys. You know, you, you think I wanted to use rapid fire on it? You know, I, I thought it might suck, but um, when I do that... I, I learned something about the weapon, right? You know, I learned that it makes the recoil out of control. If rapid fire was awesome, then, you know, I'd be able to pass that along to you guys. So, so that's, that's what goes on there. But that's only one of the things I wanted to talk about. I also wanted to talk about kind of the state of Modern Warfare 3 at the moment. And, uh, you know, it, it, there's a difference. Online, I'm reading about how horribly broken it is, right? There's a couple things going on. Oh, and then there's this. 402 tweeted, do not accept game invites or private matches from any player you don't know or trust in Modern Warfare 3. There are dirtbags up to dirtbag things. So I hope this message gets out to people. Um, I looked around at what that meant, and based on the, the Googling I did, it has to do with deranking lobbies. So if you don't know, sometimes people will invite people into a private lobby, and then that way they, they know that they're host, and then with their host, they're able to, um, like, give you negative XP, right? You could get, like, you know, you kill a guy, you get 100 points. You could get negative 1 million points, and uh, historically what happens is it takes you to zero level on that prestige, and then I forget, but I think that not only are you zero on that prestige, or I'll say rank one, you know, like a first level private on your current prestige, but you have this, like, insurmountable XP to gain before you can even get to rank two because you're not at um, zero XP you're at like negative I mean, you know, 1 million XP or something crazy like that and it takes forever even just to be rank one and that that sucks right so assisted suicide lucky me anyway so uh, so yeah don't accept private match invitations from strangers right now because they're doing crazy things which by the way they also did in Modern Warfare 2 and I I don't know if they did something different this time or if, uh, you know, if the old insecurities are just still there, but, uh, but that's the way that, that it's going on right now. Reaper, yay. The other thing that's kind of plaguing Modern Warfare 3 right now, it, based on what I see online, are these, um, um, like walking reapers and walking ac-130s if you haven't seen that there's a mod or a glitch or something no kills with my reaper there's a mod or a glitch or something that enables you to like be a, an ac-130 right you shoot ac-130 like you know the howitzer or whatever it is that that thing shoots i'm sorry if i got that wrong and um but you know the 105 and 40 millimeter or whatever you, you shoot big ac-130 weapons at people as you walk around so it's kind of like carrying you know the AC-130 in your pocket and, and shooting guys with the briefcase. You can also do it with the Reaper, and it's pretty interesting to see. Um, the You know the red light from the Reaper that kind of indicates you know, you're about to have an explosion right there? The, um, that's exactly what happens. You walk around, and there's like a red light where you're aiming, and then when you shoot, it fires a Reaper-like explosive, which is like a... It's about as powerful as a noob tube from Modern Warfare 2. Like, you know, it, it blows up that little... You have to sort of hit the guy. It's not like an AC-130 where it just kills everything in that section of the map. But um, but it's it's way OP also. So, and that's interesting. You know, I hadn't really thought about the Modern Warfare 2 noob tube being pretty much like having a walking reaper but in my mind they're kind of close-ish right that's you know closer than you really want them to be so so yeah online i'm reading about this stuff all the time there's also prestige lobbies right there's um people are prestiging right now and kind of you know cheating about it i guess you know you see them they've got like five hours game played and uh um they're level 20 prestige already like it's out of this world and I, I know some of the phase guys are getting a hard time for jumping in prestige lobbies but i'm not one of them like for me personally i only care about the glitches you use that impact my enjoyment of the game 
right? If if you go to a prestige lobby and now you're prestige 20, I don't care, right? You know, I, I, in Call of Duty, and I think this is one of the things that Call of Duty does right, if you play this game for like, I'll call it two hours, maybe you could even make it four hours, and you're not doing well, it's not your class. You know, four hours into this game, you have some pretty good weapons opened up that you can do a good job with. And Call of Duty has always done that. Like, even back to the, the COD 4 days, right away you'd get like an M16, an MP5, an AK-47. You'd get some solid weapons. Not every weapon, but you'd get some nice solid weapons to use. And if you're having trouble, then it's probably not the weapon. It's probably something else. Like, maybe you're new at the game. Maybe you're just getting stuck in bad lobbies. Maybe it's connection, etc. But, um... Uh, all the Call of Duties I've ever played, you can be competitive with the unlocks you know, that, that happen almost right after you get create a class. That's that's my take on this. So anyway, yeah, these guys that are hopping into prestige lobbies, don't care, right? I've never been shot by some guy and I'm like, oh, it's not even fair. He's 10th prestige. No, that's not how it goes. You know, it's, uh, yeah, I got one kill with my Reaper. Yay. <laughs> uh, two Reapers combined for one kill. It was kind of like, if this was a... a a lobby that was more reaper friendly or a map that was more reaper friendly i might have had what you know what's a good reaper streak eight kills ten kills and get two of those that could be 16 additional kills whatever um so uh so yeah right now there are rank up lobbies there are d rank lobbies which are kind of a prank that they're playing on people um there are walking reapers and walking ac 130s and there are um I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. That's all I have stuck in my head. And I wanted you guys to know that the game is kind of broken. But having said that, you know, remember how I said that, like, online I'm reading how horrible it is? When I play the game, I'm not getting stuck in these things. Like, when I played Modern Warfare 2, noob tubes overwhelm the thing. When I played Modern Warfare 2, rust domination lobbies, javelin glitches, um care package glitches, things like that happened so often it was like I couldn't enjoy the game, right? It, it was so widespread. But in Modern Warfare 3, I'm not finding the same thing to be true. Like, I'm reading about these troubles that they have and, and you know, that sucks. But, you know, the reality is, like, when I play, I'm not burning into them. As a matter of fact, I haven't run into any of these things. So, uh, at least for the moment... It's not all that widespread for me, at least for the moment, uh, while they have these insecurities and you guys need to be careful about like, you know, don't play with strangers. Um, yeah, you know, when I play Modern Warfare 3, it feels just like it did, you know, two months ago before, you know, everybody knew about these glitches. So that's that. Pretty good game. Most points captured and highest KD. When I get that in Domination, I feel like I did something right. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, there's a link in the description to vote for me for King of the Web. It's a charity-based thing. Two vids you may have missed. The top video sucked. I don't know why it sucked. I thought it was really good. I thought it was really, like, you know, insightful analysis. But I checked the ratings on it, and people didn't like it. I don't know. You can judge for yourself. But um, I, I got good feedback from other commentators. They're like, I don't know why you're, you're getting dislikes on that video. I thought it was good. And uh, on Reddit, I got some positive feedback on it. But... You know, you guys decide what's good and bad, and I guess the video sucked. I don't know. Check it out if you're curious. The bottom one is about uh, support for COD 4 and COD 5, which is kind of interesting that I made that video before uh, I knew about all these problems that came out. But um, anyway, yeah, two good vids. And, and King of the Web, don't, don't forget, um, you know, vote for me. <laughs> it's all charity-based thing. Subscribe in the top right if you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.